guys. So today I have another tutorial for you as part of my Harry Potter mini series and today's look is Hufflepuff, the Hufflepuff house. So the Hufflepuff colors are yellow and black. This look is way more cut crease than my last one. I was watching it back. I realized I probably shouldn't have called it cut crease because it's more like a blended harsh eye because the colors are very contrasting but this is like opposite ends of the spectrum it's kind of ridiculous but I'm really liking it um, and I decided I know that the Hufflepuff color does not include white but this kind of created like a double wing and I was like I need to fill in the space so I did with white and I kind of like how it turned out so that's a good thing um, I was also going to I was also trying to make this look wearable because yellow and black, not very wearable colors. But then I found this shadow duo from L'Oreal and it's in 907 Striking. It's a matte shadow duo and it's really cool. It's a really pigmented like yellow. This reminds me so much of Max Chrome Yellow which I've seen. So if you're looking for a dupe for Chrome Yellow. I mean, this is obviously blended, but you'll see it's pretty pretty pigmented. And I always thought this was a black, but it's more of a deep navy, so I didn't use it because it's not exactly black. But then I, when I saw that, I was like, alright, screw it, I'm not making this horrible. This is going to be crazy. Um, I hope you like this look. This is so... I, I'm, like, loving this, but it's so crazy. I commend any of you who will wear a look like this out in the daytime rock on you go um, I hope you like this look if you want to know how to do it just keep on watching alright so I already applied a primer to my eye and when I was doing the f uh, first eye I had accidentally already put white eyeliner on but it kinda went away so I'm just going to put some white eyeliner on as a base to make the colors look really intense with this look, um, kind of like the Gryffindor look, it's a lot of blending, reapplying, but this is more of a definite cut crease look. I know the other one was kind of not, but regardless, I'm just going to go for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply yellow, and this is um, HIP's uh, duo, matte duo in striking, and this is a really cool duo. This is a really pigmented matte. Um, yellow, and I used to think this was a black, but it's more of like a deep navy now, so I'm not going to use that shade. But just take a flat brush and the bright yellow and create a wash of this all over your lid. Now, the thing with mattes is it's really important to pat this on to get the most color payoff. I'm, go on, I'm just going to blend this out a tiny bit, and I'm going to be applying colors over it, but I'm going to be taking a my BH Cosmetics 120 palette, and this is the second layer, this matte black right here. I'm going to use a um, liner brush, and I'm going to line where I want that black, and I'm not going to let any yellow go above that until so so. Try not to get it on the lid. Okay, so on the first layer, I'm first going to use, I'm going to mix um, this color, this color, and I think I use that color, and I'm going to apply that on the lid. It makes it a little bit less intense. Maybelline Nice Studio Color Explosion Palette, I've really been loving this, especially this color. Um, I really love this color. It's the kind of golden -y pressed glitter shade on a small brush, and just kind of apply this on the inner part and as the brow bone highlight. So I'm also going to take a little bit more of this yellow and apply it above here to create a nice undertone. So I want to build up the black a little bit. So first I'm going to take this um, grayish shade on a fluffier brush and kind of Apply this in over, then um, I'm just going to jump straight into the matte black. Right? And I'm going to use a piece of tissue to catch any fall. So 
I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. Um, I'm actually gonna kind of reline the eye using the liner brush. This actually helps to darken it as well. I'm gonna take the yellow, just blend this up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna use a deeper shade, um, a mixture of these three. I like the way they turn out. I'm just gonna apply this to like the outer part. The only problem with this is you don't want this to be muddy, and that's what sometimes it can tend to be up there. So I'm just gonna take a pale highlighting shade, any highlighting shade will do, and just kind of lightly apply this beneath the rim. I don't think I did it on this side. And with that, I actually think the eyes are done. That was pretty fast, faster than the other side. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of white eyeliner and apply this into the lower lash line. And again, I'm gonna use a gradient with um, shadow because um, I think it just looks really cool. So I'm gonna I wiped off the brush and I'm first gonna I'm gonna just show you what I'm gonna take. So first, I'm gonna use I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one, the gray. And then the really sparkly black and the matte black. And what I'm going to do with the matte black is after I apply it, I'm just going to kind of create a wing and then sharpen the edge on that one so I have the space for that there. I'm getting so much fallout. I seriously don't apply face makeup. You will be really sad by the end of doing this. If you're doing this for like Halloween or something. I'm going to take a Q-tip, make sure it doesn't go too low. Kind of pull it towards the front. Clean off the brush. Take the yellow shade. And you want to press this onto like the inner part as you can see. And then I'm going to use the this gold here and then this shade there give it like the more of a marigold feel I don't know so then what am I doing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a couple things um first so there's a few things I gotta do I'm gonna take the gold glittery shade and I'm going to basically just run this over the entire um eye and then just kind of lightly press it in. It just creates a really subtle, subtle, subtle effect. I'm going to use for the inner corner highlight this white gold shade first. Just really lightly. And then use the yellow on top. If you blend it out, it will lighten up the yellow. I'm going to use a little bit of a matte black eyeliner, just straight up black, like that. I'm going to take a white um, eyeliner first and fill in the space here. Hold on, I can't even see in my camera reflection. Let's take a white eyeliner to kind of create a base for this. Um, when I use the liquid, um, this is like the edges of the black are going to be fixed so you don't have to worry about that this shade right here and this is just going to set the eyeliner alright so now I'm going to really lightly line my eyes as you can see it's not that much on the other eye once you get to the end of the eye, just reline and fix up the lower part. So, so kind of extending it from the lower lash line. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retake that shadow, that matte black shadow, and then on a brush I filled this back in. I actually have to fix this because it's not dark enough. You can't even see the line. 
So that is practically what the line should look like. So now it's time for mascara, and this look is already pretty crazy, so you could probably wear false lashes, but it's completely up to you. Alright, so for cheeks, I'm going super simple. I'm just going to use a bronzer. I'm just going to take this on a fluffy brush. And with a really light hand, just kind of dust this on my face. And um, you can use like a matte bronzer. Kind of contour your cheeks a little bit more. I don't know. Just don't really feel like. And then I'm gonna use high beam too to give myself a little bit of a glow. Just for something. And then for lips, Max Strange Potion Lip Gloss. I just love this for any look. Alright, so that completes the Hufflepuff house look. This is so crazy dramatic. Like, this is way more cut crease than the other one. And it's kind of getting like an Arabic feel. I don't know. But I actually really like it. Um, I hope you guys did too. And thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!